please welcome Director of Design, Mazda Design Americas, Julian Montuse. So I hope you agree that this new CX-5 is just so refined that it makes you feel something very special just by looking at it. So under the design philosophy that Midasone explained, our job is to use Japanese aesthetic sensibility to create car design that emotionally moves people, just like a piece of art. Something that can only be done by challenging the conventional approach. And so the Japanese believe that craftsmen inject life into what they make. The passion and precision that goes into making something builds energy. An energy that is actually contained by the object. So when someone interacts with that object, they receive that exact same amount of energy or feel that energy. As a Japanese car company, we essentially believe that a form genuinely made by human hands gets a soul. And we are obsessed with the power of human hands and the artistic form that can only be shaped by human hands. So we experiment with ideas to translate the artistic form into car design. And we call this process an exploratory preparation. And it doesn't start with car design. We create objects of different form and explore how they emotionally move people. That emotional signature of the form, like the CX-3 and MX-5 example shown by Midasone, is always discussed with all the chief designers in order to inspire the designers to visualize what the final picture may look like. It's on, not only the designers that are emotionally connected by the beauty of the form. We have inspired Mazda engineers and workers involved with the car's development. And one great example is the manufacturing team who changed the entire process in stamping the body panels. They went into aligning the movement of the polishing action of the tooling in order to best showcase the quality of the surfacing and enhance the codo movement. So surely I can tell you that this is a unique approach to master design where other automotive manufacturers are following an additive design approach that is highly graphical, almost cartoonish, we are searching for a pure emotional expression. And the two sculptures that you see here on my left are the result of this amazing process for creative exploration. It supports the progression of Mazda design, which led to our new CX-5. And of course, we knew we had to start with the sport crossover proportion. But we also wanted to design a vehicle that had a dignified, mature feel to it. So elegant, but exciting. Alluring, but yet restrained. And so we created the sculpture before we even put the pen down on paper to formalize our new CX-5. And when we found this feeling of tension with dynamism, we got really excited because it took the idea of dynamism that Mazda is known for, but interpreted in a new way that is actually much more premium. And I really want to emphasize here that we could not have found this solution without the handmade approach. It's not something that you could create on a computer or on a single piece of paper. The result of this explained that this form has a soul a warmth that generate the amount of energy that it took to create it. And here you see how we translated the overall gesture of the body side of a new CX-5 for an absolutely stunning visual effect that people will fall in love with. Our next step of focus was the stance. Everything we did was to maximize visual stability by lowering the visual center of gravity. To give the impression of traction with the ground, we drew a continuous connection between the tire's outline and the body. We call this form the traction form. In other words, each tire re received visual weight 
to exercise the suitable force downwards. We create a pure three-dimensional framework where the surfaces are always flowing towards the tires. So we have graphics, reflection, all of those design elements are here to support that intention. The purified body side also helps as it drops into the rear tires, which accentuate the stability and give the feeling of anchored power. We also worked on evolving the front face signature that we're known for. We accentuate the sense of speed and depth. And this, paired with the more aggressive lamp opening, gives the Mazda front face an even more expensive look. The next piece I want to talk to you about is the way we manage the movement of the reflection across the body. And Midasson mentioned this in his talk earlier, that exploring new ways of reflection moving across the car is an artistic practice. And yes, that means that our designers are staying very late in the studio to explore those flow of artistic reflection. These reflections are actually the result of our collaboration of the form, but also the color done hand in hand. Again, something quite unique is usually done in separate stages. This new color is the ultimate expression of red. It is our new body color evolved from soul red. And its biggest characteristic displays a very intense reaction to the way the surface flow around the vehicle. The highlights are super bright. But in contrast, the shadows are so dark they actually look black. So not only did we create a paint and shape combination that has a huge contrast range, but we also created a unique characteristic around the reflection themselves. Specifically, when the surface have a positive section, the reflection takes on a sharper, crisper look. And when the surface goes negative or concave, the quality of the reflection is much softer with additional gradient. So the paint and form together is the key element to showcase the new CX-5 refined sense of dynamism. This color was produced by the collective wisdom of Mazda engineers working hand in hand with our designers to actually form the shape and maximize the color's characteristic. The same philosophy of the intense collaboration can also be seen in our interiors. This type of craftsmanship is process driven and requires human ingenuity and that is so Japanese. We work very hard to make sure that the shape of any interior part is honest and respect the material it is made from. This is a fundamental idea that makes everything feel ultra high quality. It's the difference between premium design and ordinary design. Moving up in scale, looking at the overall architecture of the interior, we have an even purer dedication towards the driver-centric approach. There's almost a perfect symmetry around the driver axis, which enhances the connection with the vehicle and the road ahead. The upper instrument panel has a strong linear focus, and the bright trim accent unify the interior horizontally, which creates visual space and a very special feeling of elegance. Now, the stability look around the center console translates this awesome feeling of you being in control of the vehicle. The wider console and substantial lower mass of the cabin treated with softer material, all of these accentuate this concept. The seats as well, the form really embraced the occupant. The bolster deconstructed treatment showcases a purposeful aesthetics. The craftsmanship is insanely precise. And for example, the stitching is super accurate. In fact, every touch point in this interior has soft padding to it, something that a lot of other manufacturers would not even consider. The car promotes a real sense of well-being every time you rest your hand everywhere on the interior. And that's a good place for me to finish. An interior that creates a sense of well-being through its unique sense of connection and an emotional expression reflected through the exterior's refined dynamism. The CX-5 is the introduction of the next generation of Mazda cars. 
And although its design development was a daunting task, I think we've created something even more special here that will com compete with the very best. Thank you. So before I invite you on stage to have a closer look, I would like to bring Midason, Global Design Chief, Isai Amazon, CX5 Chief Designer, and Kevin Rice, European Design Director. Please come on stage for pictures. <laughs> 